cave scene. Let's go dig the hole to avoid the sunlight as much as possible. Like a mole. Ah! Good news! Good news! Boy, have I got some good news for you! It's Hello. time for me to tell you about some real intriguing stories. Keep your ears peeled, you hear? Mm -hmm. Sounds like your ears are ready, Nezuko. I'm ready too. Let's listen together. Rawr! Rawr! Do you remember when Nezuko started hating the sun as soon as she turned into a demon? Yeah, I remember that. It was really stressful. I had no idea what was going on. Oh. Demons cannot be in the sunlight! Oh no! Don't let Nezuko go in the sun! I'm gonna hate that crow, dude. Why'd she dig a hole? Is my demon sister transforming into a mole now? Into a mole now? And she doesn't look very happy about it either. Guess she really wants to avoid the sun. You think you could fit in here? I want to try to keep moving during the day, too. But I can carry you, okay? Oh. Yes, you can't fit. I can't believe how grown up she is. Seems like only yesterday she was half that size. Nezuko, remember how you got really big the other day? Well, I've got an idea. Do you think you could get smaller? <laughs> Come on, Nezuko. You can do it. Smaller. Whoa. Who's a good girl? You are, Nezuko. I'm impressed. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe you can change your size like that. It's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. Why are the two of you so optimistic, huh? Weirdos. Weirdos. The both of ya! I think a talking crow is a lot weirder if you ask me. <laughs> Fucking crow, dude. You better get ready for a lot more things like this. And you better be excited about it! I love the crow. I take it back. I love the crow. Alright, sick. Next. Demon in the temple. On his way to Orokodaki's place, Tanjiro encounters a demon at the temple. Taking Tomioka's advice, we headed towards Mount Sagiri. But on the way there, we encountered a man-eating demon inside a shrine. I somehow managed to stop the demon from advancing. But at the time... I had no idea how to finish him off. I wonder how many demons are there? This isn't the scent I found at my house. It's different. But I still have to finish him off, or he'll just keep killing people. I have no other choice. That knife isn't going to do the job. I don't know when he got there, but a man with a mask suddenly appeared behind me. He was different from any other person I've met. I'll never forget the first time I met Urokodaki. Okay. Beating the trainer. After the immobilized demon disintegrates under the sun, Rokodaki gives Tanjiro an ultimatum. I stood there, not knowing how to finish off a demon. Time seemed to pass quickly as I tried to figure out what to do. But then, dawn came. And as the sun beat down on the demon, he disintegrated into ash. 
I was stunned at what I just saw. Then, Rokodaki asked me a question. He asked what I would do if Nezuko were to eat a human. What would I do? I tried my hardest, but I couldn't think of an answer. You're too indecisive. You must learn to make decisions quickly. That is why you failed to kill that demon before daybreak. Do you know why it took you so long to answer my simple question? Because your resolve is too weak. Damn. There are two things you must do if your sister eats a human. First, you kill her. Then slit your own belly and die. Hello? That's what it means to travel with a demon. You must be prepared to face the consequences. Have I made myself clear? Yes! The words Rokodaki told me are engraved deep within me. And I still recite them to this day. Actually... Uro Kodaki was the one who Tomioka sent me to meet. It was at this moment that I decided to become a Demon Slayer Swordsman. Up until now, I had been fumbling in the dark. But now finally, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. It was faint, but at least I had something I could set my sights on. Damn, okay. Like, my man was like, yeah, you let her eat somebody, you kill yourself and her, dude. Damn. Insane. Training begins. To become Urokodaki's student, Tantro must travel from the top of Mount Sagiri to the bottom before daybreak. <laughs> Just fall forehead. <laughs> travel from the top of Mount Sagiri to the house at the bottom before daybreak. That was the first trial Urokodaki gave me. As I headed down the mountain, it almost seemed too easy. But I soon learned there were numerous traps lying in wait. At the time, I was desperate, willing to risk my life to make it down the mountain. Crap, crap, crap! If I keep walking into these traps... I'll never make it down the mountain by morning. And on top of that, the air here is so thin. I hope I can make it before I pass out. No, I have to make it. Control your breathing and sniff out all of those traps. I made it. I made it. Back down. You are now my student, Tanjiro Kamado. Every part of my body was aching. My arms and legs were exhausted. But I somehow managed to make it back. And thankfully, Urokodaki allowed me to be his student. My training as a demon slayer had all started there. Okay. Damn. What a Chad. A demon slayer. The KO period. During final selection, Tondra encounters a demon with a deep seated grudge against Orokodaki. The mutated demon that appeared before me at Mount Fujikasane said that he had a grudge against Urokodaki. Excelled him there. He also said, I'll gorge myself on all of Urokodaki's students. What connection did that demon have to Urokodaki? And just what happened between them in the past? Uro 
Kodaki. Hello? Or if you just behead the demon, Something it just happened dies, during right? the KO period. Something that ignited a deep hatred in the demon. The demon held a grudge against Urokodaki, eating every last one of his disciples. But Urokodaki did nothing to deserve this. It was all the demon's fault. But what might have happened if he never became a demon in the first place? The grudge never would have formed. And... Just thinking about it makes my chest feel tight. Damn, okay. Hold my hand. After losing to Dondro, the hand demon recalls his once forgotten past in his final moments. After severing his neck, the mutated demon crumbled to pieces, filling the area with a strong scent of emotion. It was the same scent as any ordinary humans would have been. The smell of grief and regret. Why did I do it? Why would I eat my own big brother? Oh no. I had a brother. I'd forgotten. What a sad scent. Brother! Wait up! C can you please hold my hand? Oh, fine. You're such a scaredy cat, you know that? <laughs> and demon's brother, dude. The mutated demon cried as he disappeared. I felt it only right to pray for him. Please, God, help him. The next time this man is reborn, let him stay a human. Please, don't let him turn into a demon again. Alexa. Despacito. Okay. Yeah, that's everything for chapter one. Done it all. If you know what that means. Only right that we make it on our way to chapter two.